going on guys welcome back to a brand new video on Atalia today hopefully guys day is going all well in today's video guys we're going to be going through the easy fall slash winter 2018 collection drop that will be happening between september and december we're going to go through every single shoe that's going to be dropping and some shoes that aren't part of the collection that will be dropping separately we're going to go through my opinion and whether i think the resale is going to be high low and whether it's a brick or a cup Let's get into it. Guys, we're gonna go through what exactly is dropping in the four slash winter drop. If you guys look on the image on screen right now, all images and sources will be linked down below in a file for you guys to check out. If you guys wanna use these images for your videos, by all means, go ahead. If you guys look on image on screen right now, as you guys can see, we have a number of Yeezys on the screen with the months above them. We're gonna go through what's exactly on the screen right now. As you guys, we're gonna start go from left to right in chronological order. September, we have the Yeezy 350 creams, which actually will have 1 million in stock so there'll be a million pairs that will be dropping for retailing around 150 pounds so if you guys want to go ahead and pick those up that will be the easiest ever easy to ever drop in existence there's a million copies i'm well, sorry a million pairs of the shoe so that would be so easy to get below that shoe also in september we have the wave runner easy boost 700 i don't know a lot of information about that but we're going to break it through in this video in october we have the easy 350 zebras that again is another restock then Below that, we actually have the sesame colorway, which is similar to the butter colorway that I actually have a pair of over there in my drawer. I really like the butter colorway, but one thing you guys got to remember about these type of colors, playing colors with that type of shoe. The pictures don't do it justice to action in real life. In real life, these colorways look amazing. Also, in October, we have the semi-frozen yellow bar of the ZZ350 V2 drop once again. Then going on to November, we have the salt easy 500 drop and also the mauve colorway i don't know exactly how you spell this m-o-u-v-e so i don't know if you guys have your own opinion or pronouncing that there you go so i'm gonna break down my opinion of this drop this drop i'm actually going on screen right here the creams one million of that so if you guys want to get the creams go for it my what i'm going to be doing with the creams is i'm going to be getting the creams then i'm going to be sending it off to get them customized with a custom paint job i'm going to put some of the paint jobs on the screen right now that actually caught my eye you guys can do this as well i'm not gonna lie it is pretty expensive to do this but it's a blank canvas you can make your own yeezy with this yeezy and there's a million of them are dropping for 150 pounds which isn't actually bad reselling them will be nothing really because it's not like they're gonna have a resale if a million of them are dropping now i'm not gonna lie for the mauve colorway i'm not really sure about the information about i know that people have been looking forward to it because i know the 500 colorway is a decently liked uh range of shoes personally i like them i don't hate them it's like in the middle for me 350 is definitely above them it's kind of in the middle for me in my opinion of the 500s I mean, sorry 700s but going on to the october drops we have the zebra restock which i will 100 100 be going for i really like the way these zebras look i will be going for those i think those will retail at about 170 pounds i'll link down all below like all the articles if you guys want to go check them out that i'm reading this from then we also in october have the sesame drop that you once again guys trust me uh from the picture i know it doesn't look the best but i'm telling you actually no wait there where's my yeezys uh, I found it. <sighs> okay, we back. One second. Right, I'm actually gonna put the butter stock image that before they were dropped, the actual image that Adidas released on screen right now. Now, pond on that for a second. Now, I want you guys to compare it to that. Like, in real life, the shoe, like, even on the camera, it was do just this. I'm running on a 1080p camera. I'll try to put the saturation up so you guys can have a better image. Sorry that the below is a bit dirty, but I wear them quite a bit. So if you look at the actual shoe, it doesn't do it justice compared to the image. That's why I think the Sesames will actually be a very, very good shoe to cop. And I'm personally going to be copping them. Now bearing that in mind, I want you guys to also consider with the Sesames, if it does the type of relation in terms of resale to the butters, you guys might be looking at raw resale. So if you guys are going to go ahead and get the Sesames, I want you guys to like consider that reselling them, you won't make a lot of profit off it. I think you make about $30, $40. In the first couple of months and after a while i think you will just drop the retail unless you're selling on a third party uh private marketplaces maybe you can get you like 100 pounds but honestly if you're gonna cop the sesames i'm more like steer away towards just wearing them just because they're a really nice pair of shoes now moving on to the semi-frozen yellow honestly i don't know how i feel about that to me it kind of looks like a zebra and the butters 
with a bit of saturated like uh, saturation onto the buds and just squish together man it's a easy i definitely will be copying those as well any like 350 i'm going to be copying just because of the fact that i like 350s first of all it's one of my favorite ever like ranges of the easy and also i like the way the the whole shoe kind of pops out to me i think resale will be decent it'll be higher than the buzz i know that for a fact on the sesames it will definitely be higher pretty sure stocks will be lower for the semi frozen yellows therefore making it in high demand moving on to november we actually have the salt easy 500 and also we have the mauve colorway i, I keep on butchering that name i know for a fact i keep on butchering it you one of you guys are going to correct me in the comments but those two coming out in november honestly i don't have a lot of information on those I don't know if people are going to go for it to be fair. Some people do like the 700 range and the 500 range. So I'm pretty sure it will, res it will resell. But if you guys look at the utility blacks, um, those are some bricks right there. Those are some boulder level shoes. Those have had many, many restocks like across the board from grade zero stores. And I'm pretty sure they dropped again on Adidas twice. So if they're anything like that, then those are going to be, not breaks, they're going to be boulders, my friend. They're going to be some high level boulders right there because you literally can't make any profit on it. People won't even buy them for resale. You're going to be losing money at that point. So overall, in my opinion, I'm going to go with not them being bricks and not them being a cop. Like the kind of in the middle, like kind of squished together in the middle, just because there's a range of shoes in there that are really good. And there's a range of shoes in there if you cop you will get below retail or not even above retail maybe a couple of dollars because uh, sites like go and StockX do charge a processing fee and that processing fee is pretty big because they send ups packages and stuff like that U ups labels to sell back to StockX. so i'm going to go with in the middle i'm not going to really rate it at a certain point there or certain point there just because it is a very quite very drop so guys that is the first episode of like rating four slash winter drops for 2018 and obviously years to come that is the easy drop they're actually going to be some supreme drops i might make a weekly series on supreme rating the drops for the next week and try copying them live i think i might make that a series but easy uh, supreme right now ain't looking too fresh it's a bit down in the down in the gutters but hopefully it comes back but if you guys did enjoy today's video please drop a like we're gonna smart we're gonna try aim for 10 likes if you guys are new to the channel please go ahead and drop a sub if you guys want to share the video to your friends i would be much much appreciated if you actually retweet my tweet when i uh, tweet out the video i will go ahead and follow you like and retweet the tweet that you tweeted my video i said tweet a lot of, i said tweet a lot of times you know in that whole thing that's weird but guys i'm gonna catch you guys next time so guys i'm gonna catch you guys next time peace